It's time for bingo, everyone. It is time once again to get your crayon or your marker and your bingo card. You've got the instructions on the back, but real quick, let's go through them. Make sure that you circle the ones that show up, that get called, that are on your card. You have to go across or diagonal and get all of B and I and N and G and O. And once you get B, I, N, G, O, if you are one of the few fortunate people to have a winning card, then you need to, to post a picture of that on Instagram and use the hashtag music lessons in a box in order to get the points for your winning card. But if you post your winning card super late, then uh, there might not be any points left. So make sure that you play right away and that you post it as soon as you have a winning card. I think that's it. Did I miss anything, Krendra? I don't think so. Okay, good luck. The fourth line on the treble clef is always going to be a D. This rest only has one notch or one flag on it, which means that it's an eighth rest worth one half. That's an eighth note, which is worth one half. A crescendo is gonna look like a big sideways V telling you to go from a really quiet sound to a much louder sound. This counts as a D in the treble or the bass clef. This dotted quarter rest is worth one and a half beats. This counts if you've got a C in the treble clef or in the bass clef. This is the great composer, Scott Joplin, sometimes classified as a classical composer, but usually classified as a jazz composer. A repeat sign is two dots stacked on top of each other that tell you to go back and play it all again. A measure is just a chunk of beats within a song. Most songs have at least eight or more measures. Some of them have up to like hundreds of measures. One half is the value of all eighth notes and eighth rests. You get to mark it off if you have an F in the bass clef or the treble clef. The bass clef is the graph for all the lower notes. Perhaps the most important guy in all of music, this is Mozart. The top line on the treble clef is always going to be an F. The bottom line on the bass clef is always going to be a G. Eight VB means you're supposed to play that section one octave or eight notes lower. Any whole note is worth four beats, also any whole rest. This note is on the space above the treble clef, making it a G. Each half note or half rest is worth two. Eight VA means you're supposed to play it one octave or eight notes higher. If you've got a G in the treble clef or the bass clef, this one works for that. The spaces of the bass clef spell the word ace, A-C-E. This is the second one up, which means it's the C of ace. It looks like a top hat, but it's actually a half rest and it's worth two beats.
This counts as an E in the treble clef or the bass clef. A ritarondo is when you're supposed to gradually get slower, usually at the end of a song. That's an eighth note, which is worth one half. The second line up in the bass clef is always going to be a B. Forte means play it loudly. Since forte means loudly, fortissimo means really loudly. It's usually indicated with two Fs next to each other. Accelerando means to gradually get faster. A bar line is an up and down, a vertical line that separates measures. That rest looks like an upside-down hat, which means it's a whole rest, worth four. Since this rest has two little flags on it, it's going to be a sixteenth rest, worth one-fourth of a beat. This is on the first little ledger line above the bass clef, which means this is middle C. Mezzo piano means kind of softly because mezzo means kind of and piano means softly. An accent looks like a little V on its side above or below a note and it just means to punch that one a little bit harder, make it a little bit louder. The second line up in the treble clef is always going to be a G. The spaces of the treble clef spell the word face, F-A-C-E, and this is the third one up, so it is the C. Three is the value of any dotted half note or dotted half rest. It looks like fine, but it's pronounced fine, and it means it's the end, the finish. A repetition is any part of a song or solo where you're just repeating some little group of notes. The word piano in music means to play it softly. It's usually indicated by a single P. That note is on a space below the treble clef, which makes it a D. This hashtag is called a sharp sign in music, and it means to play the note slightly higher. You can find a brace on the grand staff. It's the squiggly line that connects the treble clef and the bass clef. This counts as a B in the treble or the bass clef. That's a treble clef sign. It's the graph for all the higher notes on the piano. This whole note is worth four beats. Primary triads are the most important triads, the ones that show up naturally inside a scale. The one, the only, Mr. Beethoven. The second space up on the treble clef is an A because all the spaces spell the word face, F-A-C-E. This half note is worth two beats.
This is a quarter rest and it's worth one. An accidental is any flat or sharp or natural sign. Anything telling you to play something different than what is normal for the song. This note is on the top line of the bass clef, which means it's an A. A fourth or a quarter is the value of every 16th note or 16th rest. The top space on the treble clef is always going to be an E. If two of the same notes have a swoopy line over or below them, that means they're tied together. You're only supposed to play the first one and just hold it out through the second one. Since the spaces of the treble clef spell the word face, F-A-C-E, this one is on the bottom, which makes it the F of face. The spaces of the bass clef spell A-C-E, ace, and this is on the very bottom one, so it's the A of ace. It kind of looks like a B, but it's actually a flat sign. It means to play the note slightly lower. A decrescendo looks like a sideways V going from the big end to the little end, showing you that you should have a lot of sound going to a little sound. Dynamics are just the markings that tell us how loudly or how quietly to play each note. Top space on the bass clef is always a G. One and a half is the value of any dotted quarter note or dotted quarter rest. Anytime we have the treble clef and bass clef showing up together, it's called the grand staff. Mezzo forte means kinda loud, because mezzo means kinda, and forte means loud. Tenuto means to hold the note for the full value, maybe a little bit longer. The treble clef is the graph for all of the higher notes. This counts as an A in the treble clef or the bass clef. The bottom line on the treble clef is always going to be an E. This is the first ledger line below the treble clef, which makes it the all-important middle C. Four four time is the time signature where we can have up to four quarter notes in each measure. Any quarter note or quarter rest is worth one beat. This dotted half rest is worth three beats. Pianissimo means really quiet, and it usually has two P's in a row. One P is quiet, two P's is pianissimo, really quiet. Playing a slur or playing legato is just when you connect the notes. It's a big swoopy line over several different notes. The third line up on the treble clef is always a B. This is the great, the amazing, Bach. That is the incredible jazz pianist, Bill Evans. 
And that's all we're calling today for Musical Bingo. So hopefully you were a winner. If not, don't worry. There's always next month. And if you were a winner, make sure you post that right away because you want to be one of the first people and earn your points. See you next time. Bye. Now click left or right for online lessons or subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Learn Piano Live YouTube clips.